Hey guys, Chad Close here, and I'm here today, and I'm going to go over another Unity tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about um, Look At. It's a simple script line that comes in handy uh, when you're doing AI scripts or just uh, other intelligent scripts type of things. So let's just get started. Um, I just opened a new project and made a default one and we're just gonna go in here and throw in some things to start we'll throw a cylinder in here and we'll zero it out and then we will name this player and if we spelt it right there we go and then we are going to add a cylinder and we'll zero that out and we'll hit F to focus it in and then we'll grab the capsule the player and we'll just make it a little bigger and then we'll take the cylinder and we're gonna move it up a bit and then rotate it over and this is simply just to know where it's looking at what way so right now it's pointing that way or hopefully it's pointing that way and then we're just gonna throw that in the player Next, we're going to add a target. So we're just going to do game object, create other, and we'll just make uh, the object a cube. And we'll zero this out too. And we'll just bring it over here. Bring the camera out and up. And then just go ahead and throw some light in the scene. Alright, there we go. So let's now just go down here and create a script. JavaScript. Look at. Go ahead and open this up. Um, I have default Unisite. Um, you can go to File, Edit. Where is it? If I can, what am I looking for? Preferences in the edit tab, and it brings up this, and then external script editor. You Unisite, or you can do model development. Um, I like Unisite better, uh, especially if you've used 3.5. There's some updates with it, um, with script help and whatnot. So, let's just start with the code. All right, so we're gonna do this code two ways. Uh, there's this is the main uh, code. It's transform dot look at, and then the variable that holds the transform of the target. So there's two ways to do this. You can either do var target transform. You can do it that way. Save the script. Uh, go to the player. Attach the look at. And then just take the target and just go ahead and s if I did it right, I spelt something wrong. What did I spell wrong? Oh, um, target, target. All right, there we go. Save that. Alright, so in the script, and then we can just apply target right there, and then when we play this, um, it just looks at this, and the cylinder is actually on the wrong side. So I'll just flip that over real quick, play it, and now it is looking at it. So we can go and do scene view and just grab this cue, and we can just move it wherever and it follows it. So that is the look function. Pretty basic, very easy. There's no damping, no nothing like that. Just looks at the origin. So let's go and look at the code again and let's just change something here. Um, instead of having it declared as a variable, we can just declare the variable and then down here we can type target 
equals game object at find target dot transform and that should be good. Yeah, actually don't even need this transform, I don't think. I think that should be enough to have him target. Okay. Let's see what's wrong with this. Maybe you do. Dot transform. Let's try it now. Alright, there we go. So that is uh, another code that you can use. Um, that way you can find uh, other objects instead of just um, declaring it. So if, say you wanted to spawn something or if you wanted to change targets, you wouldn't have to declare every single um, target or say the target actually hasn't spawned yet. You can use that find thing, the find game object dot find target. Um, to do that, which works really nicely. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'm Chad Close. Have a nice day.